welcome to It's Row Row Time. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I am back, y'all, and I am back in full force. So, I wanted to do a little intro for you guys um, before I get into the video. As you can see, I'm doing a video on Emerge products, and I'm excited to do this video because I'm excited to be back to YouTube and kind of show you guys these popping new product line that I tried. And I am so happy to have you guys back. And I gotta like figure out some things with my channel and kind of like figure out what direction I'm going. But this is gonna be my first video back, y'all. So I hope you enjoy the video and let's get right into it. Hey guys, uh, I am going to be doing a curly hair tutorial with trying the Emerge new product line from Target. So um, this is gonna be the shampoo and conditioner. And I just happened to come across these products at Target. I was just looking for some new products and then I saw that these are very reasonable. So I was like, well, I should definitely try them and see you know, how it goes and how it works in my hair. So the first thing I do obviously is turn on the shower <laughs> and I make sure that the water is going to be like lukewarm. I do not like hot, hot water because obviously heat damage. Um, so yeah, so I like to turn on warm water and my hair gets wet very fast. So that's what I'm showing you guys right now is that my hair just absorbs the water like immediately. Um, I know sometimes like my kids, they have drier hair, so their hair does not absorb the water as fast. Um, so then the next thing that I do is I'm going to go ahead and get the shampoo and I'll lather it in my hair. All right, so I take the shampoo and I go ahead and I get a fair amount of shampoo in my hair. Um, just because I like to make sure that I feel a lather in my hair. And I started off completely wrong, you guys. Normally, I start off just with the roots of my hair first. I don't put it on like the middle part or the ends first. I always start at the roots because that's going to be new growth that I've received in my hair. Um, so I want to make sure that I get all that clean, especially when I put products in my hair, like my curling gel, I make sure that I put a lot at the roots for some reason, because I feel like that's where my hair dries the most. Um, and so that's why I take, and I usually put the shampoo there and I lather and I massage, um, and I make sure that I'm getting the shampoo throughout my whole entire hair. Obviously my hair is not that long, so it doesn't take much to get it through my hair. Um, but again, I take and the way that I liked about the shampoo is that I was able to just kind of like run my fingers through my hair and it still felt good. There are some shampoos that I've tried that my hair just like feels like really, really nasty or I don't even know, like maybe dry and not moisturized with a, with like cleansing it. So that's why I really like this shampoo. Um, with trying it, it was like an amazing feel to my hands, to my hair, everything. Um, again, I just massage my scalp really, really well, um, just so that I'm stimulating my scalp for new growth. So I go ahead and rinse out that shampoo. Okay, so now I go and I get these conditioners. So this is also my first time trying the conditioner. Again, my first time trying the whole entire product line, which is why I'm doing the review. Um, this conditioner is called Smooth finish or smooth wonder i think it is conditioner sorry smooth mover conditioner um and i'm gonna go ahead and put this in so you can section your hair whenever you do like when you're doing the conditioner i don't necessarily section it i do see that a lot of people section it into like four parts um or whatever so that they're making sure that they're getting the conditioner throughout their hair but uh, my hair has gotten thin over the past year very very thin because of just postpartum and just kind of like dealing with stress I think has caused my hair to get become very very thin so I don't really need to suction it into four parts but I do just kind of like part it down the middle and do one side and then I do the other side so what I do is I'll get some um, conditioner and you guys are gonna think that I just put a whole lot of conditioner in my hands, but this is because I like to make sure that my hair is well conditioned. 
Um, just because of, like I said, my hair is thin and I've never experienced this thin of hair before. Um, so I do start off at the ends of my hair because in the ends, that's where you get the most damage or that's definitely where the most damage is in my hair, um, like split ends and things like that. So I do trim my hair, but I do not trim it like as often as other people probably. I see some people trim it like every three months or whatever like that. And I don't do that. So I am just putting this conditioner starting at the ends, working my way up to my root. So a lot of people use either a wide tooth comb or a detangler. I honestly use both. I have both. It just kind of depends on like if I'm in a rush or um, what mood I'm in basically. And I take the wide tooth comb. I start off at the ends and work my way up so that I am not snatching my hair once again. Like I said, you guys don't want to do that when you're combing through your hair. This detangling brush that I am showing you guys right here is absolutely amazing. I don't even know what um, made me want to buy it, but I was just like in either Walmart or Meyer. And I happened to see and I was like, oh my goodness, I wonder if this is going to work for my kids because they cry all the time about me detangling their hair. So I did buy it originally for my kids, but I tried it out first and used it and I absolutely love this product um, or tool, whatever you want to call it. I love it. It combs through my hair so well. All right, you guys. So I am just combing the detangling brush through my hair and you can see that it just combs through like so smoothly. And that's the thing that I love about it is that I don't have, um, you know, any issues with the brush or anything like that. So I'm going to let this conditioner sit in my hair for a while. As you can see, I have conditioner literally all over my face, like everywhere. So I'm going to go ahead and take a shower and I will see you guys later when I get done with conditioning and rinsing it out. All right, you guys. So I am back. I have washed my hair and everything. This is what it looks like after I condition it and washed it and I'm out of the shower now. So I... Uh, the first thing I do is I don't towel dry my hair. You'll see me have a towel, but it's honestly just for my shirt, honestly. Um, but so what I do next is I have like a bottle of water. So don't laugh at my bottle of water. I need to order one off of Amazon. So anybody who's watching this video, if you have any recommendations, let me know. I did have a spray bottle, but I don't have one anymore. I don't know what happened to it. I have kids, so who knows what happened to it. Um, anyway, so I have this huge spray bottle that I use, um, and then I'm going to use the leave-in conditioner by Emerge, um, and then they have like a gel as well. I did not get the gel just because I'm very leery of gels. I do stick to my kinky curly gel, um, but they also have like a My Everything Buttercream which is infused with PQ oil. It's for rich, for moisture rich, frizz free curl definition. So I'm going to be using this as well. Um, it is very, very thick. I have not used it before. I'll kind of show you. It's like a kind of like a cream, I guess, thickness. But yeah, this is the bottle. So I did open it and um, I'm gonna try that. And then also, I still have this brush that I'll use because I section my hair um, and I have like a, a hair tie or whatever you want to call it that I use. So, um, you guys, this is a raw <laughs> video of this Emerge product. Um, my hair, I will say, is like absolutely soft. Like if you can see, I can literally just run my fingers through my hair. So far, I love the shampoo and the conditioner. I did get the mask, um, which I completely forgot that I had, that I had bought the mask and I was going to use it before I did the shampoo and conditioner, but I will do another video on the mask as well if you guys want. Um, so right now I'm just going to do the rest of the products and then I may try the gel. Um, so this is not going to be like, I guess a full product line 
review, but it's just gonna be pretty much the basics that a lot of people use, which is shampoo, conditioner, leave-in conditioner. Some people use the cream, some people use the gel. I like cream because it keeps my hair moisturized, so we're gonna see how it goes. So the first thing I do is I'm just gonna section my hair in the back with my finger, like I don't really need a comb. And I'm just gonna section it off like this and I'm gonna put the rest of this up into a little bun. Okay, so it's not gonna be perfect. I'm not like I'm not caring about being pretty or whatever. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of conditioner, rub it through my hands. The first thing I do always is apply whatever I'm putting in my hair to my ends first because that is gonna be the most damaged part of my hair. Um, and then also like I wanna get the leave-in conditioner on the new growth as well. So here, I'll kind of show a little bit. I'm just running my fingers through. Again, this leave-in conditioner is absolutely like soft. Like I love the way my hair feels. It just feels really, really soft. Um, so yeah, so then I am going to go ahead and put the cream in and you can see I'll get up close. This is my curl pattern and it still has the curls, you know, in there and everything. So I'm gonna put a little bit of this cream. Again, I'm just gonna grab just a little tiny bit. I don't want a lot because I don't want my hair to be weighed down with this. And again, I'm gonna apply this to the ends and work my way up. And then for this front part, this hair is still a little bit thin. I'm working on growing it out. Okay, if you can see this, I have a lot. It looks like I have a lot of product in my hair. Um, so what I do is I kind of just, you know, scrunch it up a little bit just because I am still getting like thickness in my hair. Okay, so I will now show you guys kind of like the finishing product. I will kind of get a close up so that you guys can see. But if you can see, these are my curls. And look at, my curls are like very well, you know, defined on this. So the same as on this side. very well defined curls um and i really just love like the way that my hair feels it's not like too flat i still have the poofiness that i want but i don't like too much poofiness so it's like just enough poofiness and with me not putting any gel in my hair um this is like really really good uh let's see and so I do not diffuse my hair or dry it or anything. I kind of just let it air dry. Um, and then I will come back and show you guys the finishing product of what it's like air drying, okay? All right, you guys, so I am back. Um, my hair is for the most part pretty much dry. Um, this is what it looks like in the back. And again, my curls are still intact. Like I really have um, grow a good curl pattern going on. So I'm actually like excited about this product. So I'll get a little close up so you can see my curls. All right, so I am gonna say that as far as like a curly hair review and um, as far as having like moisture and my hair and just kind of like feeling overall soft what which is what it kind of says on the bottle i mean it says um for the conditioner it says moisture moisturizing and softening infused with almond milk and i'm not even gonna lie the smell <laughs> is not on point at all um i think like a lot of times whenever i do get products um, a lot of people do that where they smell them and they want them to smell like a certain way and everything like that um i will say that this does not smell good i think it really smells like 
an older lady or which is not a bad smell it's just very mature smell so you can smell like um i wouldn't say almond milk like i don't i honestly couldn't pinpoint what the smell is but i will definitely say that it doesn't smell the best it's for me i like more of a fruity smell whenever i put something in my hair and i like for that smell to stay in there and everything like that but you know it it wasn't like that so but again i'm more so of what's gonna give me moisture in my hair what's gonna make my hair feel soft what's gonna make me not look crazy going out in public um i think for the longest time i've always been insecure about like i don't want my hair to be poofy or whatever but i'm just starting to embrace like what my hair is gonna do whatever it's gonna do it's gonna do and i will say with these products it has done well so again i will show you guys all of the products um, and this is going to be the hair mask that I was talking about. So it is back to life hair mask. Um, and then obviously don't mind <laughs> that I just took a shower. So the bottle's kind of like wet and stuff. This is the conditioner. And then this is going to be the shampoo. And then we also have the cream that I use. Let me put the top back on that. We got the cream and then there's also one other product that I'm missing, which is that gel that I was telling you guys about. I, again, I don't know why I didn't get it. I just <laughs> ended up not getting it. But um, for the most part, this is gonna be the full product line. And again, this is an affordable product that is new to Target. I mean, I I think now that I have it, like it's not as new, um, but cause I've seen I've, I think I've seen it in the store before, but I never really paid attention because I just don't like trying new things in my hair. But um, it's $6.99 at Target, which if anyone knows, like hair products are so expensive for curly hair. And then just trying to like navigate and find the right product that works for you. And so I think this is a very affordable way to try a product and see if I like it. And again, I do like it. I mean, I do love that my curls stay intact. I love that my curls are so bouncy the way that they are like and this is dry like my hair is not wet and it's still bouncy so I do absolutely love that. If you have any comments or um, if you want me to try any hair products um, let me know. I am going to start trying to find like more affordable things because there are people out there who can't afford expensive um, hair products you know. Shea Moisture is definitely probably not as expensive, but it's like maybe in between. I mean, I know people that probably spend like $50 on one bottle of shampoo or, or whatever, but I wanted to definitely try something that was more affordable um, for people who have kids like me. <laughs> but if you guys have any comments, like I said, leave them down below, or if you want me to try anything, um, I would greatly appreciate if you subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up. And we'll see you guys for the next video um, on either hair products or other thing. It's not gonna just be hair products that I will do videos on. I'm gonna do, you know, personal hygiene, nails, like all types of things. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye. I know. I know this. I know.